All right, well, somehow uh, I was not recording my last duel. So, um, as you can see, I lost. And that's all right. Uh, it was a Salomon Great. It was actually a really great battle. Uh, great duel. Kind of bums me out. I didn't get it on recording. I thought, well, I did start the recording, but the way the PlayStation works, it's a little strange and ended up not saving the recording. So, all right, well, four more wins to get to gold tier two. Let's see if we can bump it up today. Here we go. Alright, gold 5, playing on the PlayStation, and I will go first. Let's see what we got going on. This guy's the big dog, or Buds R Us, or 20. How, what an eerily similar uh, hand I was drawn in the last game. Not that I could prove it. Sure, you're thinking, yeah, yeah, sure. Alright, let's see. I'd love to have this guy. I'd love to have this guy. You know what? I'd love to have this guy, actually. Because I don't know if we're going to... Oh, I meant to select. So what I'm seeing right now is I can scale him, scale him, and then Pendulum Summon. See where we go from there. So far, nothing from uh, my opponent, such as no... It hasn't gone back to their side. So let's see. To activate this effect, what happens? Oh, I am a free man. It's over here because I want to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to activate that. And let's get Electromite out here. We'll use his effect so I can get uh, Astrograph out here as well. Let's take a look. And then let's get uh, Harmonizing back. That way at the beginning of next phase I can special summon him out. doesn't really matter. Yep, we'll get him on board. And then, yeah, I'll add uh, another Wisdom Eye. Maybe we'll get him out here and we'll get uh, a Starving Venom out, like I did last time. Ah, never mind. I forgot uh, Starving Venom was only dark monsters. This guy's a light, and uh, this is dark. Okay, well, we will end it like that and see what this guy's up to. Oh, right. Yeah, we'll do performable Skull Crobat Joker. Because what happens is, if they allow me, I will normal summon this card, and I can add a uh, performable monster, magician, pendulum monster, or an odd eyes monster from the deck to my hand. So that's pretty nice to have. All right, Pot of Prosperity basically allows them. 
allows the person to banish either three or six cards from their extra deck face down, so they don't know what it is, and it's banished, so it'll always stay face down uh, for the rest of this turn after the card reserves. Any damage your opponent takes is halved. Also, excavate cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of cards banished. Then you could add one of the excavated cards to your hand, place the rest of the cards on the bottom of your deck in any order. I'm actually not really sure what the advantage is of this card, but a lot of people use it. Uh, what was that? It looked familiar, but I can't think. There you go. Secret Blast. So inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each card they control. This card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card and sent to your graveyard. Inflict 1000 damage from your opponent. Hmm. Wow, that's a lot of cards to set face. That's a lot of trap. See, they think I'm going after an attack. I am not attacking. Oh, if this card battled, have your opponent's LP. Alright, no worries. I feel fine. I feel fine. But they have something. Let's see. Damn, this is crazy. It's my turn. <laughs> but I guess not. Alright, well that was game. Wow. How did they get all of those cards just perfectly? I don't know. I do not know. Alright. Sad. Oh well. Alright, well, uh, that was it. That was a super short game. Um, they got me. That was good. Okay. I don't even know what kind of cards, like, what, what kind of deck was that? What was the, uh, archetype there, if any? I have no idea. I'll have to look it up. Thanks for hanging out.